History repeats itself. This is my great-grandfather when he first arrived to New York and started his first job at a restaurant in Manhattan. He wasn't quite as lucky as Joe Bastianich, am I right? He started out washing dishes, though he did manage to live the dream and finally open his own restaurant. In the meanwhile, he worked his way up. Not bad for a young man who disembarked at Ellis Island, right? You see, he decided to leave his country, family, and friends to seek its fortune in the United States, the country of opportunity per excellence, at least at the time it was. Ellis Island in Upper New York Bay was the gateway for over 12 million immigrants from 1892 to 1954, the majority of whom were Northern and Eastern Europeans. Today, six years later, the reason behind us leaving haven't changed much. Political and economic oppression, as well as unemployment, are still a prominent issue pretty much everywhere. What is said as strange is the destination. Bright Italian graduates are leaving for countries such as Germany, Switzerland, the Netherlands, as well as the United Kingdom. This phenomenon, known as fuga di cervelli, or brain drain in English, is no longer a cliché, as figures are growing exponentially year after year. I myself belong to the forgotten generation. As my great-grandfather, I decided to take the road abroad. I moved to the United Kingdom when I was 15 years old to finish high school. My mom, you're wondering? Well, let's say she wasn't really happy and started crying every time we mentioned it at dinner. However, I wasn't scared. Quite the opposite, I was super excited and I couldn't wait to start my new life abroad. It wasn't all as easy as I thought, though. I had to adapt to a new school system, new language, new rules, and finally find new friends. But once all those obstacles were overtaken, that's when I really started to appreciate the opportunity. So you see, it wasn't all bad to leave home in the end. My great-grandfather's journey was definitely not as easy as mine, but we both managed to adapt to our new reality and build a new life abroad. Because as long as you stay in your own environment, you live your own reality, which is not necessarily the world's reality. Nobody really likes to leave home, but personal enrichment and growth only come from stepping into the unknown and facing the adversities. Now, I would like to leave you with an open letter written by Pier Luigi Celli, the director of Louis University of Rome, to his son. This country, your country, it's no longer a place where it's possible to stay with pride. That's why, with my heart suffering more than ever, my advice to you, having finished your study, is to take the road abroad. Choose to go where they'll still value loyalty and respect, and the recognition of merit and results. Thank you.